I'm going to talk about understanding derivatives, and I'm going to introduce the idea. MyBookSucks.com is my website. Now imagine we have the standard xy plot, and we're going to graph the function x squared. So if x is equal to 2, y is equal to 4, and we plot that right there, 2, 4. And this is simply x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 4. You should know that by now, hopefully. Now if I put in the green dot, and I wanted to determine the slope between the green dot and the gray dot, I put in the green line. And let's say that the green dot is at 2.1, or x is equal to 2.1, and then that makes y equal to it makes y equal to, eventually come in there, 2.1 squared or, come on, 4.41. So now we have 2.1 is x and y is 4.41. Those are my two points. Now let me get rid of everything except what we want to talk about right here. The slope is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1, and that equals to 4.41 minus 4 divided by 2.1 minus 2. And this equals to 4.1 divided by 0.1, or 4.1. So the slope between these two points of a line is 4.1. Now if that dot, the green dot, gets closer to the gray dot, and let's say now it's 2.01 and then y would be 4.04. .04. X is 2.01. So now if you put all the points in, the slope is 4.01. Trust me on it, or you can calculate it, pause it, and calculate it yourself. In other words, as these two dots get close together, or the distance between them is almost zero, the slope approaches 4. Now let's go back to that original graph that we had before and we have a dot, and let's say that's at x is equal to x. Makes y is equal to x squared. In other words, that x is that x, of course, and we know that f of x equals x squared equals to y, and that equals x squared, which is equal to f of x, so we can take that x squared and put it right there. Now let's imagine we have a, we take another point, and it's h distance away from x, or in this new point is x plus h is the green dot. So now we have x plus h and x plus h squared. If we put it into the function, what we get is f of x plus h is equal to x plus h squared. Let me make this explicit. This is the x value, and that goes there. This is the y value, and this is where I got the y value. Now if I take that h and I the distance between those two points and I make it really small, so now I'm going to make it really small so the green and gray dot approach each other, I'm going to let h approach 0, get really really close together, the two dots. Like before, I'm going to take the slope between those two dots. And again, slope is equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1, and that equals to the change in y divided by the change in x, which equals to delta y divided by delta x, that's this notation we use in calculus, which is equal to dy dx, and the d is really delta. We start plugging in numbers, so we have x plus h squared that's y2 minus y1, which is x squared, divided by, divided by, put it in there, let's go. We have x2, which is x plus h right there, minus x1, which is x. Come on, come on down, there you go, right there. I'm going to switch to another slide, so it's getting a little messy here, so I'm going to put all this on another slide. Just like that, it's the same thing written over again. Now if we take x plus h squared, it actually is, this is the same thing. I just expanded that out using FOIL or some other technique. 
and then I have minus x squared. So that's the numerator divided by, now that x and that x cancel out. Little red x is through them, there you go. Now I have them left with plus h. And in math, we usually just drop the plus sign. So it's just h. Now notice in the numerator, x squared there and negative x squared, those two x squareds are going to cancel out. Put a little x through them, or a little red line. So we have 2x plus h squared divided by h. Now there's an h here in the first term, and there's an h squared in the second term. Now I'm going to factor out 1h, so I rewrite this as h times 2x plus h divided by h. And those two h's will cancel out. I can rewrite it as 2x plus h. Remember, we're going to let h go to 0 or approach 0. So we can rewrite it as the slope is equal to 2x because we can ignore h. It's almost 0, right? h is almost 0. So now at point 0.24, we can calculate the slope because we know that the x is equal to 2. which is going to be that value right there. In actuality, we're going to calculate the slope of the tangent line at point 2. So the slope is equal to 4. Simple enough, right? This is what we thought earlier as well. The slope is 4. Let me put the dot on the other side. So now it becomes negative 2, 4. x is negative 2, and y is 4. What's the slope? Easy enough. x is negative 2. So 2 times negative 2, the slope is equal to negative 4. At point 0, 0, 0, the slope of the line is what? So now x is 0, so the slope is equal to 0, or it's a horizontal line. So the slope right there is 0.